What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the 250,000 Ultimate Thanksgiving uh, Tournament. In this game, we are going to be playing a loser's bracket game versus TNC Fancy. You see in that right corner. And in my opinion, um, this is easily, you know, a top five, top ten guy I've played this year um, on both sides of the ball. I haven't really played him too much. I want to say, you know, two, three times, maybe even four. And uh, we are going to be running Seattle offense, Buccaneers defense, and he's going to be running offset. I don't know if it's Carolina or Colts. I want to say he runs Colts. And then on defense, he's going to be running dollar. And guys, when I tell you this is probably the best dollar I've played all year, as in just pressure, coverage, everything, um, mainly just pressure. I really had, you know, a slim chance of, to, you know, doing anything in this game. And you'll see that. And then I'm going to run run by like what I could have done better, what I'll do better in the next, in the future. And, you know, this is just a good learning uh, process, learning experience of dollar itself. You know, defense isn't too good in this game, but, you know, this dollar defense is actually pretty effective. As you see right here, I'm going to be starting off the game with a nice little uh, max, protect, max protect play. We're going to hit this rollout. And he, he sends a spy or his zone that, you know, gives us that hitch to TJ Husmanzada for, you know, 25 yards. So, you know, the, a pretty good start to say the least. But you see right here, Josh Allen with that sideline dead eye. Uh, if you didn't know, sideline dead eye is basically the equivalent of, you know, dashing dead eye, roaming dead eye, whatever it may be. It's right here. He's going to shoot the gap perfectly. Get that speed burst. And that kind of, you know, threw me off because when someone shoots the gap and blows up your run like that, um, you do not want to run the ball again. And um, that definitely... Uh, I could tell you for sure like that threw me off and I didn't really want to run right here We're gonna run a nice little uh, combo and his five-yard vertical hooks Are were playing insane this game. They were literally playing everything see right there You know, I only get a yard on that. I could have waited and thrown that post I definitely should have waited, but I was you know afraid the pressure was gonna come in You'll see man soon this dollar is gonna start humming as right here We are gonna once more max protect run verticals and you know once more make a you know relatively fast read it was open um but i really do wish i could have converted right there because uh, all of a sudden it's a fourth down and one and you know it's pretty easy to convert fourth downs but uh you guys could tell like i want to max protect you know i don't really want to send out too many people uh early i just want to test his defense and right here we are going to go to nice little route combo either the right side uh corner route or the crosser is going to be open we decided to go to the seam and I can't be too mad. You know, I drop a wide open pass, but they did something to the game where if you aggressive catch certain things, um, just in general, aggressive catching is bad now. User clicking on and, you know, making a play with your receiver just results sometimes in wide open drops. It's happened for me and against me, um, you know, to my opponents. And, you know, he does have mid zone, but I, I, don't, I don't think it was mid zone that caused that because he wasn't even, you know, in tackling range. Um, if I would have a caught that, you know, possession caught that, maybe you could say it was a uh, mid zone, but you know, I have no abilities right there and I end up dropping it. So, you know, just tough, man. You know, first decent, it was a decent drive. It definitely stalled out, but, uh, I definitely dropped that as right here. We are going to send some nice pressure uh, in this double a gap. Uh, it's just a form I was experimenting with and, you know, he ends up throwing the ball away. So, you know, first play uh, defense, you know, not bad. I'll take it. And he has Husman Zada on the outside. So I actually haven't seen this. He's on the far right receiving spot. It's right here. Just a bad user, man. A very bad user. He runs a cover two beater. And, you know, if my user was there, I definitely think, um, you know, it would have been a good defense. But since he has Jerry Rice there, who has 96 speed instead of 94 and TJ Husman Zada, results basically in, you know, a nice, what, 30 yard gain. Right here, once more, we play good defense. We send two. And the delay fade dot just absolutely RKO'd by delay fade out of nowhere. And he gets to the four. So uh, it's just, you know, really haven't been playing good defense. Uh, I was still thinking about the offensive drive, like what I did wrong, all that type of stuff. And all of a sudden, he's at the four yard line. So there we go, man. Um, all of a sudden, you know, he's down to the four yard line. And there goes Derrick Henry trucking our guys into the end zone. And I want to say that's Bulldozer, um, the, whatever it is, 1AP. It's either Tank or Bulldozer, one of the two. And, you know, it's actually a smart ad. Derrick Henry is, you know, as of late, he's been a meta running back. People love toting, toting, toting with him. 
uh, just running through the cracks, trucking people, breaking tackles. Um, and that's really what it is with Patterson and Henry. It's a two back system. You put in Henry on like those third and ones, fourth and ones, he's going to get you that first Patterson for, you know, the, your receiving needs. And I unfortunately did not have Derrick Henry in my lineup at this, you know, this whole tournament. But trust me, I will be buying him ASAP. So right here, we're going to just run a little bit of bunch tight end. And we get screamed at, man. Um, I blocked my tight end, and it really didn't matter. That's, this is the dollar. It's going to start heating up real quick. It's right here once more. Uh, just a bad read, man. And I want to say this is because it was the middle of the field. I had my out route. I had the post, the post coming open late. Um, but since I was in the middle of the field, I couldn't get to a hash. The cloud kind of baited me. Right here, guys, this is really what I'm looking at. And he's baiting the shit out of that. I'm not going to lie. And at the last second, he creeps up. And that's really what they did to the zone update with the flats. Um, you really, like, that's why I like having a zig route right there. And I was talking about this in, like, one of my prior videos. I re recommend running zig routes if someone's running, like, a send 5 cover 2 shell. Because, um, you know, I've been able to dot this send 5 cover 2 for so many years. And then all of a sudden, they make the clouds kind of, you know, bait stuff now. And now it, it gets a little tough. So I recommend running zig routes if I were you guys. It's right here. We shoot the gap. You know, not, you know, I'm, I really got to hold the three is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, it's not looking ideal at all. He gets ball at half. Super slow start. It's right here. Derrick Henry to the outside, and we're not going to be able to tackle him. <sighs> he is a bad man. Um, he is just as good in the NFL as he is in Madden. And that's rare to say. Oftentimes, you know, a player in Madden is, you know, way better than how they are uh, portrayed in the NFL or vice versa. But here, uh, Derrick Henry is just as good as he is in NFL as he is in Madden. So right here, once more, guys, this is where the dollar pressure starts to heat up. He gets an A-gap on the first down. Once more, I'm in the middle of the field. And at this point, I'm kind of just throwing out my game. I'm like, okay, what is going on? I'm getting blurred right now, 14-0 already. And we got ball first. What is going on? Right here. Uh, we send out five, pressure comes in clean, uh, just, you can't do that, man. If you're going to send out five, you have to be quick with your reads. That's why I was max protecting so often at the beginning of the game. And one thing I will say is, man, Dollar definitely, uh, you know, plays really well against Seattle type of uh, bunch. It's right here. We are going to be able to roll out. Um, it's still going to be a tough fourth down, but, you know, we do get like 15 yards back, resulting in a fourth and six. It's right here, guys. Short side, Seattle. We had R1 wide open. We playmaker that wheel route inside, and it cooks the man. Just not really a conventional, uh, you know, fourth down play, but we get the first down. That's really all that matters. I had a couple things more open than that, but it is what it is. We keep the game alive for the time being. It's right here. We are going to max protect, run a corner route, and I know better than this. I actually send out my tight end, and look at that vert hook absolutely bagging it all the way to the cloud and by then you know the pressure is going to come in that's what is up with those five verts man those five verts if you shade down they go crazy man and it really does throw you off like if you been, if you barely played any type of dollar because uh, usually we're known for verts to not really go and guard a flat like that or out route um, for that long but they do and the thing is they jump right back up to guarding their vert assignment so they do a lot of baiting, especially like on a play like Flood or something. Um, that's really where you could get baited by those vert hooks. So right here, we're going to try and you know roll out once more. But at this point, man, I don't even know what's going on. I'm getting screamed at, shedded by Ed Reed. I think what he did right there was he hit my O-lineman, which allowed the pressure to come in. So, you know, just a nice underrated adjustment by Fancy. Um, and when I seen him do that, I'm like, yeah, man, this defense is legit. It's right here. We get A-gapped again, man. Once more, we get a gap, uh, fourth and 15. It's not looking too ideal. It's right here, man. We are going to try to send five out, and I should have waited, but I just, I just predetermined the hell out of that. Um, great defense once more. Diablo picks me off, and we're down 14-0, so like, he's just completely outplayed us in like, every aspect. I feel like that first drive, like starting off slow, dropping that, definitely affected the whole game. Like. If I scored first on my first drive, I feel like this can be a completely different game. But since we didn't, man, he is just going up-tempo at will. It's right here. We scream with uh, Lawrence Taylor. 
I finally, like, this is actually my first drive of really running defense. The first drive, I tried to catch him with something he hadn't seen. And, you know, I don't feel like it's too good versus Bunch, that double A gap. As right here, he's going to run. And he has, I don't know what this is, a uh, freight train maybe. Oh, my God. If you see this, especially now with how OP the run is versus, you know, blitzing type of sets, um, like, especially odd. Just know the game is probably over. Um I'm trying to shoot the gap, run with Jesse Bates, and it's just not going to matter. He breaks the first tackle literally every time. And here he goes again. Derrick Henry, you just can't tackle him. He's going to break the first tackle every single time. And, you know, he's been playing phenomenal defense, so he deserves to be up these this amount of points. But I felt like he had like three, four passing plays, and like I just really didn't have to make him work at all. Um, not saying anything bad about that. I'm just saying in general, like, it's tough, man. It's one of those games where your opponent just gets a free one. It's right here. We ran commit, finally stopped him. You know, if we hold a three, we have a chance. I know I, I could generate a stop if need be. You know, obviously, you got to stop the run first. But if we get a stop here, then I feel like I could, you know, maybe string another stop, get lucky maybe, and bounce back into the game. As right here, verticals, he had R1 and the wheel route open, the tight end wheel. He ends up taking off. And that's one thing about 245 odd is like the pocket, you know, you could step up all you want. I don't know what it is. The DT spot is glitched, but you have so much space to run wherever you want to run. It's right here. We are going to run commit again. And I think he cribs this one. And I don't know if that motion is glitched or not, but, you know, he got some really good blocking on that. So at this point, man, we're getting blurred. We need to touch down. We have Moss open on the right side. I saw that going back, but, you know, we still get 15 or so yards. And I don't know, man, this dollar definitely had me in a fritz. Um, some people's dollars, you know, I could definitely bear and I'm decent verse. But I feel like, like I said, Seattle is definitely more, you know, bomb dependent or like, you know, long play developing. Uh, I feel like, you know, sometimes if you run th that those type of plays um, against like dollar, you're going to get sacked and put in unfavorable positions. Like I want to say this is my first time running flood. And you'll see me get, like, a good amount of yards right here. Um, and, yeah, that's just bad play calling and bad sequencing by me. I ran flood one time. I ended up getting eight yards. Like, it could have been that easy from the get-go. It's right here, guys. Trying to send a little bit of five out. And we have R1 late. He runs out of bounds. Gets the flag. Now it's going to be a fourth down. It's right here. We go to verticals. Looking for this out route. And it's there. Um, that was still a tight window. Those five-yard hooks, man, I'm telling you. Those five-yard verts, go at them into your defense and watch them play any type of out route, in route, um, any type of, you know, like if you're tired of getting hit with those short routes, there you go. It's right here. I was waiting for the wheel route to get open versus that cover two look, and it just never did before the pressure came in. It's right here. Once more, five out, and we're going to hit this post, except we have a very bad pass lead. His acro goes crazy, and yeah, man, even like when he sends three, you know, I'm making mental mistakes. Like, that was an easy pass lead to the left. I've made that read thousands of times in different Maddens. And, you know, just a bad pass lead um, almost resulted in a pick. It's right here. Wheel route. We get the first. And, you know, you could just tell that I'm struggling on offense. It's just not looking fluid, you know. I'm not in a rhythm. I'm 8 of 18, I want to say. Um, as right here, we are going to run this post play. And uh, just nothing there. We throw the ball away. It's right here, man. We actually dial one up for once. I've been running this play online a lot. And, you know, if they send five out of cover two, you could just either attack this, this right seam or the middle seam. Um, he had been running that shell all game when we finally take advantage. We decide to go for two because, you know, eventually we're going to try to come back. Um, you know, why not just go for two? The game is already looking dark. And this is actually a really good two-point play. It's called double pivot. It's out of the gun doubles wing slot. Uh, out of Seattle we run it and it's just a beautiful little dot right there it's right here guys we hop in this uh I don't even know what defense this is and we get some TGL I really do wish that went for six that could have changed the whole outcome of the game we definitely got very lucky right there um this was a two three six will I that's what I meant to say this isn't dollar but it is kind of remis reminiscent of dollar um d same type of look same type of dbs on the field right here we're trying to cook one up before half and, you know, I go to a play. I don't really run too too much. I just look for the out route. It's wide open late. But I try to lowball this tight end post. And I want to say that was a cloud that picked that off. 
Um, I could be wrong just once more. You know, it's a wide open player. If I wait, but, you know, I throw it early. I have a bad pass lead on the low ball. I think I got low pass and accurate right there. But, you know, when I threw it, I threw it like a little too late or early or whatever it may be. So that was definitely my chance to come back in the game. But, you know, it is what it is. I sold. Um, you know, I want to make him work right here, see if we can. He's going to run a little bit of, uh, what was that, double post. And I ran match, and I don't know where my defenders were. They just weren't anywhere. He's right here once more. Uh, we run a decent little shell, and he uh, hits this tight end. What was that? Do uh, bench pivot, but he ends up honestly dropping it. So, you know, third and two. Uh, we have, like, slim chance, man. We have a slim chance. I, I do wish I was in dollar. I'm in fake dollar, I guess you could call it. Uh, it doesn't scream the, at the same. It doesn't really shed the same either. But it is what it is. It's right here. Try to get a click on dive at his feet. Uh, but he gets it. And look at that, man. He's 4 of 8, 69 yards. I'm not going to count that interception because that was a fluky-ass interception. But, like, nonetheless, you know, I've held him up a couple plays. Um, really, this Derrick Henry freight train is what's, what's, you know, the only bad thing going for me. He five outs. No pressure, by the way. And I want to note that I sent, like, six on that play. So right here, guys, he blocks his running back. I sent a lot of people. He runs a cover three cloud beater, just a streak, and that's pretty much going to do it, man. Fancy, uh, he's still in the tournament. He's in loser's bracket. He's got to just keep fighting. I don't know. I think he needs to win three more games, but, you know, it wouldn't shock me at all if he did so. He's really good right now. He's been running dollar for a minute, I want to say two, three weeks, and he's comfortable in it. So that's that, man. The Thanksgiving tournament is now over for us. But, you know, don't be too sad, guys. The next tournament is coming up literally in a week. Um, and I have plans on streaming that on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Pavin Lakot. And, you know, I, I've been kind of low-key taking this little this little break before I lock in. Hopefully I could get right and lock back in this upcoming week. And ladders, hopefully that gets me right as well. You know, I don't care too much if I don't get top eight. It's not a big deal because usually those first two games you play – are relatively free, sweet, sweetie games. But yeah, hopefully I'm able to stream. Hopefully get some hell games for Twitch and YouTube. I'll catch you guys there. I got to polish up and get better on the game. Until next time, I'll catch you guys. Stay up, stay easy. And you know, it is what it is. But I, I'm, you know, holding my head high. And I got high hopes for this next tournament.